It's like the start of a track sprint every 500 metres. What a battle for the stage victory here. And uh, for Kum Bowman, it is a difficult one because it seems Formolo and Molema, they just seem to want to attack one after the other. And he's the one who has have to chase it down and, you know, uh, keep on closing the gaps here. And that can have a, uh, a bearing at the end in this very difficult finish. Malia Rosa moving up into the front half of the main bunch. Looks OK for now. 4.4 kilometers to go. De Moulin at 14 seconds, according to that graphic. Crowds lining the streets of Potenza. It's been over 20 years since they were able to see the finish of a stage of the Giro d'Italia. And what a stage it has been today. Breathless since the start. A lot of the forecasts, maybe not with the end winner, but certainly with the way it's been ridden, have been thrown out the window. Four kilometres from the line, and Dumoulin edges closer back. Chicane through the centre, led by Mollema. They're so wary of each other, and this is why anyone hanging around at the back is in the slipstream, ready to go. Dumoulin's closer than 11 seconds now. He's on his way back. Formolo saw that, flies again to the front. And Bauman, as you predicted, Sean, just try to slow it down. He's confident in the finish. Well, yes, I think, uh, you know, if it's uh, s slow down a bit, that's where Bowman will have the advantage. And with Tom coming back as well, if he goes to the front and sets it a pace, you know, that will stop the attacks from the other two. But here we go. You know, Molema just uh, thrown, a, <laughs> thrown a half an attack there and then decided to knock it off. But uh, Dumoulin, yeah, as we said, surprises at this stage. Dumoulin just gets back in here again. Hello again. They thought they'd seen the last of him. No road stage win of any bike race for five years. Of course, he's a time trialist, we know that. He won on Oropa, the Pantani Mountain, on the way to overall victory at the Giro d'Italia. He's played such an important part at this stage if his teammate can take victory today. Dumoulin back, bike racing to his brilliant best. Two and a half k's to the line now. Downhill for the next 600 metres and then it starts to rise and doesn't cease to do so until the finish line. It's the final half a kilometre where there's a right turn and a huge wall to get up. They've climbed 4,500 metres today. They're going to have to dig deep once more. Yes, and we can see Kuhn Bowman just trying to shake the legs out a bit there before this uh, final assault up to the finish. And, you know, he's in the position now where the pressure is on. You know, Dumoulin is riding for him. Uh, the others are, you know, attacking him all the time. And uh, he knows that, you know, this is the big opportunity for him. With that comes that, that pressure. And in the final, you know, run to the line, that pressure can get you as well. Nervously, you can, you know, really have difficulty just controlling yourself. Some guys can be so calm. Even at this moment, you know, they've been in that situation before. Stay calm, stay relaxed. If you can do that, that is part of the winning recipe. Three years without a stage win for Jumbo Visma at the Giro d'Italia. They've excelled in the other Grand Tours as Bauman lets the wheel go. Clever move again, and Dumoulin is allowed to just drift off the front. Forces his opponents to try and close the gap. Formolo does that. Kuhn Bauman, third wheel in the yellow, is the only one of this quartet who does not have a Grand Tour stage win to his name. Two have won at the Giro. One's won it overall. He's the man, consequently, least likely to win out of this group. He's the man helping his teammate, Tom Dumoulin, on the front with a kilometre to go at the Giro d'Italia again. Many of us we'd never see, thought we'd ever see that again. Tom Dumoulin trying to ride for Kuhn Bauman. Formolo, who won a stage on Giro debut seven years ago, and Balka Mollema at the back. Telegraphed this stage, had a big circle around it. We knew he was going to be in the running today. He's won at the Vuelta, he's won at the Tour. He wants a Giro stage to complete the set. Right turn coming up here, and then a big wall to the line. 
the stage doesn't stop going uphill. They have enough of a gap to take the victory. Who's it going to be? And this would be a perfect situation if it was a flat run into the finish with Tom Dumoulin securing the pace here, but unfortunately not, that is Wall to get to the finish line. And that brings the other two riders, Formolo and Molema, into the equation to fight for stage honors. There's that final right turn. They go into the final 300 metres now where the average gradient's 8%. It rises and continues to rise all the way to the line. It's Bowman who actually launches it first off the wheel of his teammate. He's got distance between those chasing him. He's flying out in front, but the gradient continues to rise. Ride. Monoma now is up there in second place. It's the battle of the Dutch here at the Giro d'Italia. Formolo down in third. He's beaten. He's battled, but he can't do it. It's Kuhn Bolman who's going to take a grand to a stage win for the first time in his career. Sam a winner, they say. Together they do win. Teamwork making the dream work at the Giro d'Italia. And Jumbo Visma victorious for the first time since Primoz Roglic won the time trial in San Marino. Kuhn Bowman joining the stage winners club of the Grand Tour and he can barely believe it on the day though the best rider won yes well he was looking very impressive all day he had a little bit of a blip there with you know 30 kilometers pr approximately to the finish but you know recovered quite well and you know was able to match the attacks and Tom Dumoulin of course yeah numbers were important that he was there coming back securing the pace and Bowman I was afraid there that he had taken it up too early. I thought the ramp, it didn't look like it was that steep in the end, uh, as we was reading from the uh, road book, but, uh, you know, won the sprint comfortably. Here's Davide Villella. They battled on behind.